It's hard to know when buildings cease being just walls and a roof, and when they come to mean something much more significant. People and their dreams give them life. In 1967, the McFarland Science Center was completed and became a symbol of Lipscomb's growth and a marker for its achievement in the sciences. But that was almost 50 years ago. Before cloning and AIDS, before genetic microbiology and genomes, a time when man had still to land on the moon and Pluto was still a planet. McFarland and Burton have served their purposes for educating our students in the sciences, and I'm sure when they were built, uh, there were high expectations, as we have high expectations for the future for our students. However, we have had significant donations over the past years to uh, provide equipment, and we don't have space to put it. And there are pieces of equipment in excess of $350,000 in the corners. Students are able to work there, but not very well. So we're looking for new space, new ways in which to use the facility so that it functions better. Today is a new day in the sciences. New technologies, new professional skill sets, new societal needs for healthcare. These changes demand a new approach to educating the growing numbers of students who are coming to Lipscomb for their professional preparation. Nothing represents this forward shift more clearly than the College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. Established in 2007, it was the first college of pharmacy at a private university in Tennessee and has had more applicants than available space since day one. When I was assistant dean at another college of pharmacy in the state of Tennessee, we knew that when we received an application from a Lipscomb University student that we had the potential to have an extraordinary student. We knew that they possessed leadership skills and that they had integrity. We knew that those skills would make them class leaders and organizational leaders in our college and that they were committed to the process of giving back to the community through their profession. That's the legacy that Lipscomb University has established. Lipscomb Next. The university's ambitious plan to invest $125 million by its 125th anniversary in 2016 includes a vision that will continue Lipscomb's legacy in the sciences. The vision includes a much needed renovation of McFarland with an almost 20,000 square foot addition to create more classrooms and labs. It includes the new nursing building already under construction. The nursing building will soon be joined by a pharmacy research center. These facilities will enable an important shift in teaching that requires hands-on experiential learning in addition to solid academics. These facilities will be fertile ground for new types of faculty development and intellectual discovery that will further the university's reputation in the sciences. What discovery will one day emerge from these halls? A new therapy, a new diagnostic procedure, a new finding about the human physiologic processes, discoveries that will save lives and change how we live. That is our vision, and it is entirely reachable. We're in the right place at the right time to do it. Our home is Nashville, a world leader in healthcare and healthcare management, with more than 300 healthcare companies and hospitals as learning labs for our students. It's a vision that brings together faith, science, and real life need. We want our students to leave these halls not only with knowledge and skills, but the spirit and compassion that will work to change communities wherever they are. This is the legacy we live. This is the legacy we will honor with even greater achievement, greater scholarship, broader boundaries, and greater dedication to service. <laughs>